Well, despite the rain, a large swath of the state is under burn restrictions tonight. That means people in these 34 counties in red need to be very, very careful with fire. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Randy Meyer. And I'm Kelsey Carlson. The Minnesota DNR says that there's an increased risk of wildfire because of the dry and warm conditions. Fox 9's Mary McGuire joining us now live. And Mary, we all need to be careful as we wait for the spring green up, which is happening, but it takes time. Yeah, and a lot of it has to do with the humidity in the air as well, as well as the moisture in the ground. Of course, there's nothing better than enjoying a nice campfire, especially after the winter that we've had. But of course, you want to do so safely. 90% of wildfires in the state of Minnesota, they're caused by humans. And now the Minnesota DNR is reminding folks about some fire prevention safety tips. One small spark can lead to widespread destruction in the blink of an eye. That's apparent when you look at the aftermath of the Vermilion Fire, which burned more than 80 acres in Blaine. Fire officials are investigating the possibility Saturday's grass fire was sparked accidentally by someone in the neighborhood. Spring is wildfire season in Minnesota, and the DNR is continuing to emphasize the importance of fire safety. We have the dry fuels, we have the dry air, and then when you throw wind in there as well, um, it really makes for volatile fire conditions. Even if it's rained recently, grass can dry out very quickly. We can have rain in the morning and they, they can burn one hour later or in the afternoon. That's one reason why more than three dozen counties are under burning restrictions, but people are still allowed to have three foot by three foot campfires or yard waste fires. When you're all done, drown it with water, stir it with a shovel, make sure it's out cold, there's no heat remaining. And remember, if it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. It's really important to actually get down there and touch it and make sure there is no heat remaining. Um, you know, fires can hold heat for a number of days or even weeks or months in the right conditions. The cost of a wildfire can be more than just burned vegetation. If debris rekindles or if flames escape from a contained area, the person who set the fire is liable for any damage caused, as well as the cost of suppressing the fire. Now, another important fire prevention safety tip, do not ever leave a fire unattended. So we are going to stay here and keep an eye on these flames, and we'll see you back here at 10. Reporting right. live tonight, Mary McGuire, Fox 9. We know you will. Thank you, Mary. Mm.